178,000 encounters occurred. Those are the people we know about from, that ICE and Border Patrol agents actually came into contact with. What about the thousands, tens of thousands, could be 100,000 more that didn't come into contact with? It is literally not possible to be at an all-time high uh, for border crossings and at an all-time low for deportations. That is a policy decision, Jay, to not solve this problem, to let the uh, the problem exacerbate. It's a national security crisis because we've already caught people who are on the, the terror watch list crossing the border. It's a moral crisis because of the sex trafficking and the human trafficking. It is a crisis because of the drug cartels. The people who are trying to do it the right way are the ones that are paying the highest price for this. Look, all of these programs for coming into the United States, Jay, they're still being utilized. They're just being utilized by people who don't qualify for them. This is from CNN quoting uh, Harris aides appear to, quote, panic, according to one of the officials out of concern that her assignment was being mischaracterized and could be politically damaging if she were linked to the border. The Biden administration approach, along with Kamala Harris, is grounded in deniability. Deniability of the facts that appear right before our own eyes. Deniability with respect to his administration's responsibilities because they reverse Trump-era policies that were working. What is the policy? Because I can't figure it out. It's we're going to get to the root cause, cause, which, by the way, they again want to reiterate that that root cause includes uh, climate change. It's another source familiar with the ongoing discussions on the regional strategy said the vice president office has be, uh, been soliciting research on issues ranging from governance to economic development to climate change from foundations that study and work in the region. So, again, this climate change as if that's affecting this mass migration through our borders. The fact is, this is a, a vice president who got who got probably one of the worst jobs in Washington because the president wasn't willing to take it on himself. And the vice president's team doesn't have the abilities nor they have the power. They're not the president to carry out the functions of a job this massive when you have the largest flow of people ever encountered by ICE. Kamala Harris not wanting to to deal with the border. She wants to talk to the Northern Triangle countries. Statistically, I looked at it this morning on the Department of Homeland Security, 44% of the Ill- illegal immigrants who are, who are encountered, 44%, less than half, are from the Northern Triangle. All the rest of them are either from Mexico or other places in the world. So we're trying to go to the root cause of something that involves less than half of the yep. people crossing the border. People that came into contact with a U.S. official, Border Patrol, ICE, someone, they're recorded. They should have a court date. Well, we know there's a lot of court dates out there. 3.2 million. If you took every federal court judge, every U.S. district court judge, and the, every magistrate, and then you took every, let's say, state appellate judge in the United States of America and said, okay, we're going to solve this. We're going to deputize all of these judges. Let's include all the state court judges. And we're going we're gonna to knock down this 3.2 million caseload. If you took every judge we had with every lawyer that could do these kind of cases, you would not make a dent into this in the next five years. You couldn't do this job in decades. That's how long it would take decades to do it. There are multiple bipartisan proposals in the House and the Senate to send more judges down to adjudicate the pending processes. You know who opposes that? The Biden administration. Well, That's why that hasn't passed. The federal government can allow you, they can, they can call on the state to almost assist. Like deputize. Yeah, they, they can, can deputize, deputize the state. state officials. And, and certainly uh, some administrations would do that. Not this one. Uh, so don't expect, don't blame your state officials uh, because they have been hamstrung by Supreme Court precedent and by this federal government, the Biden administration, they don't want the extra help. They're trying to abolish ICE. You got calls from the left of the Democratic Party saying we should be getting rid of uh, ICE. And then, again, quoting the Washington Post, Andy, but Biden has placed ICE deportation officers on a lease so tight that some say their work is being functionally abolished. It's like me telling a deputy sheriff, don't go out there and enforce the law, maybe in a few instances here and there. But I mean, I really am going to punish you and sanction you if you enforce the law too vigorously and too much and too much do your duty in taking arrests and apprehensions of criminals. The internal restrictions placed on these 6,000 Border Patrol agents are so strict that they themselves say, here's what they're doing, child care, paperwork, Working out or literally sitting and doing nothing. The end result, Jay, this is the open borders that the left has wanted all along. 178,000 encounters at the border, 
We don't know how many hundred thousand plus more crossed illegally. Only 3,000 people got deported. We have 6,000 ICE officers. They deported a half person each. They are using what you laid out clearly, and I think rightly, that when you get so, the system gets so overwhelmed, their, their only choice is going to be saying, Wes, well, this system doesn't work anymore, so uh, scrap the system, which ICE is basically saying, according to the Washington Post, is already happening. 